Well, I'm here with Chris, and uh, yeah, and, uh, we're gonna do a little interview today. So, uh, Chris, uh, what are you doing here at the college right now? Well, I'm in second year DCM, so like you guys, I've been through all this already. So I figured I'd come in here and see everyone being all nervous. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, what kind of uh, field are you gonna go? Like, did you go to for your second year? I'm in multi uh, media and advertising. Oh, okay. So I could have gone the journalism route. I really like the fact that we get to work with um, radio and things this year, and a lot of a lot more filmmaking. That's awesome. Well, like, what kind of filmmaking do you like? Uh, do you like about the whole process? Like, what's the what's the kind of filmmaking you like to do? Um, I do a lot of creative filmmaking. So okay. I have my own, my own YouTube channel and stuff. So I've done a couple of little film projects before. We just finished up doing music videos. I really like doing that. Mm -hmm. I kind of made it like based on like Fallout Four, which just came out. Oh, so cool. I made a music video based on that one using one like one of the old songs for it. Yeah. So it turned out really well too. Right? So that, that's what I love to do. Yeah. Um, when I'm done here, I think. Okay. Uh, what kind, how many followers do you have on your YouTube channel? Um, I think I've got 9,100. Uh, yeah, probably like 9,000 subscribers right now. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. Right on. Um, what kind of content do you guys usually or do you usually put on that on your YouTube channel? Oh, video games. Yeah. yeah. All, video games. All, all types of video games. I've been doing it since I was in high school. Yeah. It, was like, it started out as a hobby, and then as you go, you just gain more followers, more uh, people watching. Eventually, I ended up getting a partner, so I earned like a little bit of cash off it. Okay. It, not much. It barely bumps a month, but mm -hmm. yeah, lots of lots of Skyrim, lots of Fallout 4 now that it's out. Um, whatever I feel like doing, and then things on the side all the yeah. time. I do like a little a pseudo talk show with one of my classmates as well. Oh, that's so, cool. Yeah. Just and just for fun. Are you do you record all the like uh, that that conversation in in uh, your school here, or is it kind of just at home? We've done on location too before. So, yeah. the, like the um, for my regular content, on my YouTube channel, I have my own setup at home on my gaming PC and everything. So yeah. I have like my microphone set up, my recorders and stuff. Uh, for the talk show, I come. We'll do it in in my house sometimes. We'll, we've done it out in the school before. We've done it in this room just for fun. Oh, really? I haven't finished that one yet. Which yeah. Is excited. So that one should be up probably in the next week. Okay. And yeah, it's just just kind of a weekly thing. Whenever we get time. Yeah. In second year, some weeks you end up with. Like oh I don't have anything really due but I still, you still need to get them done but you can't always be working on them necessarily because yeah. I can't do my new we can only do our newscasts on certain days so some days we say okay we just twenty minutes let's get the this free done. time there yeah. to kind of get your yeah. little hobby in there that's cool man so uh, what kind of what's your favorite new games that have just come out oh I have all those I have fifty hours in Fallout Four yeah. now <laughs> yeah I have I because of that I I've been filming for, for probably like twenty hours in the past three days because I didn't do any of my assignments. Just on, the, just on the video <laughs> I have, I, Yeah, I've yeah. done, I did four Crime Stoppers videos on Monday. Yesterday I did a commercial and my music video, which I'm almost done now. And uh, tomorrow I have to film another commercial for myself. Okay. So it's been, I'm just, dead now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm all over the place, eh? Yeah, I've got to plan things out. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. For sure. So like with this program now, you get like, you're more into the eye, like public eye here in, in the community. Um, what's, it, what's it been like just to kind of, Report on stuff that's happening just in the city. Yeah, we did like all the reporting I did was um, in first year because we don't we don't do the journalism and the news reporting in second year, but we do do marketing, advertising, and talking to uh, advertising clients, trying to get them to advertise oh, okay. in the paper. So if you read the paper and you see an ad for Coffee Express or Mongolia Grill or something, right. one of the advertising students has gotten in contact with that business and they've been like they've made they've made all the ads for them and everything. So you really get in contact with all the business owners around town. Because you have, I have probably 20 clients right now that I'm constantly trying to contact. Right. And they talk too, so they, like, um, all our names do get around and we eventually get people, other people trying to contact us. So mm -hmm. it's kind of neat how everyone, especially in the small town, gets to, to know you. you yeah, know? especially the networking, I guess. Eh? Yeah. Like it's, once you get out there, you can kind of get your get your name in there and get a lot more, more clients. That's awesome. Uh, so with, like, the whole, the advertising thing, do you bring that, like, are you, putting advertisements in the endeavor as well? Yeah, so basically what we do is we go and talk to the client and they say, okay, we wanna buy um, an advertisement for the endeavor. So we make, we make the little advertisement, whether it's like a little quarter page yeah. ad, half page or whatever, how they pay for the size they want, whether they want it in color or something like that. Right. And if they get, if they book an ad, they also get a radio advertisement on the Kodiak, because okay. marketing students also host their radio hours once like th three times a week. And we so you yourself would record the yes we, the whole process yeah all the ads all the ads are made by the by the students right so I would be making everything for that specific client okay and they book three weeks and we also have to make them a video commercial oh really so, yeah. that's cool 
So that's so a lot of incentive for them. The uh, the radio or the video commercial, where where are those usually get set out to? They I think they air on Shaw. We're just gearing up to, to air them on um, on our newscast now. Because okay. we were just we've just gotten that assignment to do it. That's gonna be more second semester for us, I think. Yeah. But yeah, they air on Shaw and then we basically give it to them and they can do whatever they want. Right on. Them. So when you're gonna uh, when you come out of out of this with your diploma, what uh, what plans do you have for career wise? I want to freelance. I want to entrepreneur. I, I don't like working for people. To yeah. be honest, I will, I get visions in my head, and then only I can. Oh, I can't explain. Only yeah. I know what I want them to be. For so sure. I want to continue going with like YouTube and probably host my own podcast. Sort of like a be your own boss. Yeah, go exactly. with your own kind of creative. That's that's, that's the idea. Thing. Yeah, that's awesome. Is uh like so? Would you just kind of uh, face towards more of the, the YouTube sense, or would you also go into uh, industry like going by like? The marketing style that you've learned here, and the contacts you uh, gained through the networking. I think gotten here. A lot of the contacts I've gained um, here aren't necessarily that relevant because I don't I don't see myself staying in Lethbridge. I'm probably gonna end up back in BC because I'm from I'm at, I'm at different Preston where okay. Alex is from. I just went to high school with her. Really? <laughs> right. But yeah, and I have I have more contacts through the internet and stuff. So I've been doing YouTube for five years, so I know I'm I'm partnered with like with a network and stuff. It right. works for them, so I'd rather. I'd rather use those contacts because yeah. they're just more into what I'm into. I can get more things done with them. So, but it's good. It's good just to get in contact with all these different types of people if you know how to handle them as well. For sure, I just have so much more experience. Yeah. You know? And um, so, you, are you going to go back to Creston? You said, and st uh, or possibly a bigger city center like Vancouver? Yeah. It. I'm probably going to end up probably near Vancouver. Yeah. Uh, I might. I lived in Kelowna for a while. I might go back there, but. Um, it all depends where I get my practicum to. Okay. We're starting to try to find those now, and I could stay here for that little while, or I could I might be able to find something back home. But I, yeah, that, that's all up in the air right now. But sometimes I wouldn't like to stay in a really small town. I want to get into the city at some point. All right. Well, thanks for coming in today, man. That's all the time we got. So. Yeah, no problem. Cool. Thank you.